Hello, the universe. This is Louis and Wizard, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be once again playing Minecraft Community Sophonar on this channel. In today's video, we're going to be, hopefully, I said this in the last video, but hopefully, we're going to be finishing off that thing, and it's taken us ages. However, it's been, like, pretty good, to be honest. Oh, I forgot to restock the dog's food. So, I guess, uh, for today, they're just going to have to go without it. I'll feed them after the video. But, like, it involves going out and killing a bunch of cows and sheep and stuff. And I just forgot, and I can't be bothered to do it right now. So, sorry, doggos. Um, I'll go and feed you after I finish recording this video. And it should, it should be fine. Like, you know, they, they haven't long eaten their breakfast. So, you know, they, they can go without lunch. So... Um, yeah, I guess we should just get straight on with it. And, oh, what are you? Uh, are you a goat, but like a different colour one? Because I've seen goats before, and they're like black and white, and I thought they were baby cows, but they're not baby cows. And, oh, deers. There are deers everywhere. And that is adorable, honestly. The baby ones are the cutest ones, I think. That The same goes for pretty much everything, though. Baby Yoda, infinitely cuter than normal Yoda. I mean, baby Yoda isn't that cute, to be fair. But... He's more cute than normal Yoda, and that's all that really matters. And there's a T-Rex over there, um, and a camel over here. See, this is what I mean. It's really cool seeing all these animals until they try and eat you, and then it's not very fun, and I'd rather it not happen. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess that's... Um, let, let's get to work, I guess. I haven't got all day to just blabber on. So, I've got some more blocks here uh, that we didn't have in the last video because I didn't think about it before. Um, like a ladder to get up here, which would be very useful considering you're supposed to be able to get up here. Um, but hey, -ho, I just didn't think about that before. And now I have thought about it, so I can make it happen. Uh, I guess we'll do the ladder going all the way up there. Go and put these in our inventory, and then we'll go and get the glass. Um, it's just out of here. Uh, all of this stuff. Uh, and this is going to be like a rail thing to stop you from falling in. So you can fall off. That's fine. That doesn't matter because then you can't sue the company for being eaten by one of their animals because it wasn't one of their animals that killed you. It was the fall damage. But I have just realized I'm going to have to make this outside section a teeny weeny bit bigger because otherwise then like you're almost definitely going to fall off and it's just a bit annoying. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather... Uh, just get that sorted off. More for convenience than me, than convenience for the general public. Because, I mean, forget about the general public. Who wants the general public anyway? Uh, and I, I realised that when I forgot to feed my dogs, well, I didn't forget, I knew that I wasn't doing it. Uh, I didn't actually say hello to Mr. Pando. So Mr. Pando's there, front flipping into the wall, being like, where's he gone? I can't believe he's abandoned me. And that's a sad thought, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, we, we have just finished that, so I'm going to stop rambling now. <laughs> I don't have to keep talking anymore, that's good. Um, but I guess now, we're just going to do this side, um, similar to what we did last uh, in the other side. And so I've gone on an adventure in between episodes, and I've gone, and I've gotten some kelp. Because the kelp, um, I just thought it looked kind of cool, but I have no idea how it works. So I just chopped down one of the big things of kelp. And it dropped these things, and I assume you just place them, and it will start growing like sugar cane. But I'm not sure, so I guess we'll we'll just have to give it a go, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna go and stop saying I guess, and go and grab all this sand over here. That should be more than enough. But hey ho, it's better to have more than enough than not enough. Um, so I, I yeah, let, let's just go and destroy all this, which is by far the best part of doing all this. Is the destroying this with uh, the destroying the grass with my absolutely shiny and fancy um, shovel that Dr. Peterson got me a couple episodes ago for Christmas? Um, which, once again, still sad that he's gone, but at least I got a new shovel. Um, and that's all that Christmas is really about like getting a new shovel, um, I guess, seeing your family and stuff. But this year, that wasn't really possible. So getting a new shovel was by far the best thing that happened this Christmas. Um, but let, let, let's just um, stop talking about that and uh, before I get in trouble. But let's go and just start building this along. All this blue concrete along here, which will just make it look a whole lot nicer than not having it here. Actually, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's literally just here for the sand, so then I can place the sand on something. Uh, and it's easier than having to jump down and grab all that. Um, grass that I've just destroyed 
And we don't really need this blue concrete for anything else because I'm supposed to be transitioning into using wool just because it's an infinite renewable resource, whereas this isn't. Well, I guess technically it is because the worlds are infinite. But, like, you have no idea the amount of blocks I've had to travel to destroy all this um, sand and gravel to get all this. Like, I don't like doing it around the main area of the community world just because otherwise it looks a bit rubbish. Um, but I, I do it in, like, areas that you're never going to see, so it doesn't really matter too much. However, if we ever do go out that far for some reason, then um, it, it's going to definitely be noticeable. Um, there was also, if you remember from a couple of videos ago, I said about why, like, my render distance, I think, can go up to 128 chunks. Um, but I've only got on, like, 50. Because when it goes to 128, you can see some of the areas that I've destroyed. Um, and I'd rather people not see all that stuff. Just because it just looks a bit bad, you know? Like, the community world doesn't look great. But, like, it looks tidy, I get. Like, rather well, doesn't look tidy. But, like, it looks more than adequate, I guess, is the correct word for it. Like, it looks fine. There's nothing crazy good about it. There's nothing crazy bad about it. It's perfectly normal. But I think that it's an actively bad area of it, if you know what I mean. Which is something that I want to avoid. I want to avoid um, actively bad episodes, of the, uh, actively bad parts. I, I want to avoid actively bad episodes as well. But, um, you know, that happens a lot because I'm not very good at making these videos. <laughs> However, I think my building isn't too bad. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head up here. And I say my building isn't too bad as we're about to build out of dirt. Um, but we're going to be adding the water in now. And of course, to add water into anything, um, you have to. Ah, uh, oh, of course, that's happened. But to add water into everything, anything, you have to first build a thing to put the water on, um, which in this case is going to be a little thing of dirt, uh, it's just like a platform covering the whole thing. Then we can just go around with my omega shovel that's already really broken. Like, I mean, look at this. I might have to save this shovel purely because it's got silk touch on it. And I've lost all my other Silk Touch tools after all that teleport shenanigans over Christmas. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's definitely going to have to be something that I'm more wary of now. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, but I think I'm just going to go over here and build all this in. And th this is going to take forever. I always underestimate this, but it's fine. We've got like another 12 minutes of the video to do this. And destroying it should be a, a piece of cake to be honest like my shovel's got like efficiency five on it i think uh the only thing that might be an issue is the amount of um thingy that i have the amount of durability of my shovel and the fact i'm not going to be able to make another one uh where is the hole that i made oh it's here okay that's that's fine i can just destroy that and then climb up here and destroy that and that and, of course, destroy this one. It's it's really annoying having Shovel this good. I'm not going to lie. Like, everyone says it. Everyone says it in all their Minecraft series that they want a really good set of tools. And they get the really good set of tools. And then they slate it for being too good. Which is something I'm definitely guilty of. I'm not saying I haven't done it. I'm just pointing out the cliche. Um, because, I mean, it is definitely something people do. It's, it's something that I do. It's something that people do not recording. Like... Before I, I was doing communities videos and just any videos, like it was always a thing of being like, Oh, yes, I've got my new enchanted set of armor, and now I don't take any damage, so the game's no fun. And now I've got my full set of diamond tools, and now I one hit everything, and the game's no fun. Like, it's, it's just an element of balance, I think. That, like, I think it's fine in survival, because, like, in survival. Like, you have to work for it in the first place. But, like, I think once you get to that point is when, like... I don't know, people say Minecraft has no end. And I think that's true. Like, I don't think it has an end. But I think it has an end to being fun. Which I think is something that people tend to neglect. Um, and it's something that definitely happens when you end up like that. And I need to try and destroy this bit of dirt. And I have just realised I'm going to run out of dirt here. Um... That's a bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. We have, like, plenty of blocks, though, that we can just build out of. Like, it doesn't really have to be out of dirt. It's just dirt was something that I had a lot of. And I was like, well, I, I might as well just build out of that. Like, I've got plenty of it. Um, and I'm going to have to build on the side here. 
to then just destroy that like that. It's just a whole ordeal, to be honest. But I think I'm just going to jump down here. And obviously, we can't build out of the sand, which is a tiny bit annoying. Uh, just because we have plenty of that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to have to build out of this stuff, which actually, no, I'm not. Because otherwise, that's going to be incredibly confusing when it comes to the time to destroy it. So instead, I'm going to have to build out of this light blue concrete stuff, which shouldn't be an issue at all. And it should be completely fine. So, yeah, let, let's head back up here and then head into this area. And then just as this grass is starting to spread, which is always nice when grass starts to spread. Because, like, especially, like, I don't know what the, um, it's not ping distance. I don't know why I thought it was ping distance. But, um, the, the, the random tick speed, that's it. It was, it was the tick and ping that was confusing me there. Because they're relatively similar things. Maybe they are. I don't know what they are to be honest but uh, it makes sense and also now i've just realized that i'm gonna have to destroy this using my pickaxe which is gonna be so much slower than using my shovel for the dirt but hey ho it's it's a sacrifice we have to make actually it shouldn't be too much slower like i've got efficiency five which uh our efficiency five on a shovel is way better than on a pickaxe maybe netherrack maybe if we built a netherrack it would be better but I don't have any netherrack, and even if I did, then, like, I'm not sure whether I'd want to build a netherrack, because it's just a bit ugly, and as much as we're destroying it anyway, uh, it's just a bit bad. But yeah, with the random tick speed, like, I think it's on four or three. I think it's on three. I think four, I think I put it on four, and it felt like it was a bit too much. But, like, I put it on there, when I was building all, filling in all this ground up here. Uh, just so then the grass grew quicker, so then in the videos, we wouldn't just have, like, a few videos where it was just all made out of dirt. Uh, and I could just leave my thing on for, like, overnight and it would be done completely. Which is really, really handy, to be honest. Uh, and, yeah, I, I it was just really good. Um, and I haven't expanded this area up here for so long. And, like, I think at some point... I'm going to have to. It's just, I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Like, before, it was something that was consciously in my mind all the time when in this world. But now, I haven't really thought about it. And, like, maybe I should. Maybe I should be thinking about it more. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it should be more of a priority. And maybe I shouldn't have just wasted all this iron on these buckets. And instead, um, go and use buckets that I already had. Um, but that, I only just thought about that. And hey ho, there you go. Um, actually, I guess it would be easier to be like boom, 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 boom. Because, and I just guessed the perfect amount there. I'm not going to lie. That felt so cool. Um, but it, it just means that instead of having to do it like that, it's just easier. I guess I should probably be making infinite water sources here, shouldn't I? That would have been a smarter idea. Oh, I've kind of made an infinite water source. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I can just go and just uh, pick up these bucket things up here. And go and place these down along like this. And I thought normally it instantly fills it out sometimes. Like, I'm not sure. It's happened a couple times when I've been building things out of water. But maybe it has to be square. Because, like, this area has filled itself out. Which it wouldn't have done, like, a couple years ago. But, like, I don't know. Maybe maybe they've changed it. Maybe they haven't. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really keep an up with what Minecraft have changed, to be honest. Like, I know they're doing the cave update. And I know they're doing the cliffs update. And they're the same update and all that jazz. But, like, the small changes, I don't really notice. Well, I notice them. But then I'm not sure whether they're changes. And, oh, is this it's all filling in? <gasps> is it? No, it's not. But it came close. <laughs> and I, this is just one big infinite water source, isn't it? Which is kind of satisfying, I'm not going to lie. And it moves you along. That seems like something that could be made something out of. Like a conveyor belt system or something. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe a race. Maybe that could be kind of cool. I don't know. I, I may have just discovered something here that no one has ever discovered before. I don't know. Yeah, like, can I get to, like, the other side just by doing this? <gasps> Look at this. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god, okay, right. No one's ever thought of that before. I can do stuff with that. I'm going to do stuff with that. <laughs> Just wait for like four or five episodes time when I'm like, welcome to the bucket game. 
where we have to do a race using these buckets or whatever which definitely seems like the kind of thing that I could do. Something, something similar, to, similar to that game. Obviously, it wouldn't be that big because that was a whole stadium. But, like, just, like, a little thing that could be, like, the equivalent, I guess. And uh, I've got to be really careful here. Otherwise, I'm going to accidentally um, break the outside, which I'd rather not do. Uh, obviously, when we're doing it with the dirt and I'm using my shovel, the shovel won't break the concrete. So, that's not an issue. But I'm breaking concrete and then trying not to break the other bits of concrete which is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. However, we do seem to have been doing it pretty well so far. And, like, we've gotten to a point where we're not right next to the walls anymore, except for on the right side, which I'm just going to go make that the same point now. Um, just so then, like, we don't accidentally do that. And we've accidentally done that. Okay, fair enough. It was going to happen at some point, and I've just done it multiple times. I don't think it's leaking, luckily. And, oh, the glass is here, so that's fine. The glass is keeping us safe, which is fine. Um, and then, yeah, on this side, it shouldn't be an issue because obviously all the um, grass, you need a shovel and the shovel um, won't go through it. So that should be all fine. Obviously, this pickaxe um, goes through both of them because they're both concrete, which is a little bit annoying. But hey, ho, there we go. And we're going to have to go and destroy the other bits of dirt there, aren't we? Uh, and obviously, we're going to have to use some light sources and I was thinking lanterns, because I've still got a ton of them. But, like, I don't know where they are, and I don't know whether they work underwater. But, yeah, th this all, this whole area here should be perfectly fine. Um, just to kind of do like this. Just because it doesn't really matter. And, obviously, there's um, just little bits here and there where I've missed little bits. But, hey-ho, it should all be fine. And then I can just go and do that afterwards. But I just want to get, like, a general look at what it looks like. Um, just all underwater. Obviously, it'll be lit up eventually. And we'll do the thing with the kelp. Um, I'll, I'll just try and sort it out in between video. Uh, just because otherwise that would be a little bit confusing. And we're already running out of time now. And I'm sure you don't care that much. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I'll just do that in between video. There's that random dirt block on top of there, which has now been destroyed. And then there's all this up here, which just is kind of satisfying, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just satisfying to look at. And there's all these blocks all over the place, which kind of ruin the look of it, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then there's this random block that I haven't destroyed, just up there. And this is kind of annoying, but hey-ho. Um, but yeah, I think this will all look kind of cool when all the animals are here. Um... I should have probably waited until my bubbles had gone back up before I did that. And look at the blocks. The blocks kind of go above me when I pick them up. That's kind of weird. I assume it's because they're still registering swimming as being a full player model, which is a little bit weird. But I guess it's just something to do with the hitboxes or something. Uh, just so then you can't swim everywhere and then just evade arrows because you're half the height. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's not a hitbox thing because obviously when you're like this, you can go through one block thing. Maybe it's just a little bit of a visual glitch. I'm not going to look into it that much. Um, I, I just don't care that much, to be honest. <laughs> like, I was the one that pointed it out. But I pointed it out. It doesn't mean I care about it, though. Um, and I guess I should probably just go and pick up these last bits. And then I'll climb out and have a look what it looks like from the inside. And whether it looks like we're under the sea. So let's just go and jump over here. Like so. And can I land in that water? Yes, I can. And then I'll go and clear just this stuff out. This isn't necessary right now. And yeah, look at this. This will be so cool when there are animals swimming around the place. And it's all lit up. For now, I guess I'll just go and do it like um, three in between. Uh, that'll do one, two, three. One, two, three. And then two at the end. That'll be fine. It doesn't quite line up, but this is only temporary just to make it look slightly nicer. And so mobs don't spawn in here in the meantime. But there we go. Look at this. This is looking really cool in my opinion. And it will look even cooler once all the caps put in and stuff. It will just look kind of cool in my opinion. But anyway, uh, this is the end of this video. The next video will be in line very soon. And the link in the description box is. I hope you enjoyed this video. And from me and this camel behind me. I did the other camel last time, but I'm shaking it up this time. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you have a lovely couple of days. And yeah, uh, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.